Hello once again people of the internet and welcome to Retro Rewind, where we dust off old games and see if they're still worth your time playing. So, should you play Battlefield 1942 from 2002? We'll talk about the graphics, the audio and how easy it is to run on modern hardware. But first... Gameplay Battlefield 1942, as the name accurately apprises, is about large-scale battles during World War II. You thrust into the boots of an anonymous grunt, choose your class, and get thrown rear-end first into large-scale epic combat, dodging cinema-style explosions, hiding from hunting tanks, and taking potshots of bombers before you even have time to ask which end is the shooty bit. At least, that's how I remembered it, until I replayed it for this video. While all of the above is true, you do feel like reading a war movie, just a low-quality Uwe Ball movie on a shoestring budget. Don't get me wrong, there's still tons of fun to be had here. Just take off those rose tinted glasses first. There's a single player mode where you play battles against bots in scenarios inspired by real battles. And then there's multiplayer, which is the same, but against real people. And there's a variety of game modes from capture the flag to conquest to deathmatch. This game has a legacy richer than Scrooge McDuck, inspiring other games and launching a franchise featuring over 10 main games and countless great expansions. But how is the gameplay now? Well, once you actually get the game running, more on that later, it plays well enough. There's an active online player base, but it all feels a little cardboard. The maps are dull and as empty as a politician's promise, the weapons don't have any oomph, and the momentum is a bit slow. Verdict. Graphics. The graphics of Battlefield 1942 are, well, Let's just say they are what they needed to be back in 2002 to ensure large-scale battles could run smoothly without turning your PC into a smouldering pile. As already mentioned, the maps are as bare as a nudist beach. There's no foliage, no lighting wizardry or anything to help smooth out the graphics. And the edges in this game are so sharp they could practically leap out of your monitor and perform an impromptu LASIK surgery. Oh, my eyes! All right, all right. Bearing in mind this game came out one year after the original Halo, but that allowed 16 player multiplayer. I guess sacrifices had to be made to allow 8 times that amount, with a possible 128 players in the game. The resolution can go up to an impressive 2048 by 1536, and even up to a further 4K resolution with community fixes, which are required to play the game in any meaningful way. But flat boring worlds still look flat and boring, even in 4K. Verdict. Audio. I still maintain to this day that Battlefield 1942 has the best intro music in any game ever, created by one man, Joel Erickson. It's such a catchy and amazing tune that instantly sets your expectations of the game, and paired with the opening cinematic immediately drags you into the harsh atmosphere of World War II. The sound effects are crisp and clean, and while they don't feel like they have much weight behind them, it's definitely an experience laying prone in a trench and hearing the buzz of prop planes overhead, tank tracks squeaking nearby and explosions landing close by. Oh. All of these flat sound effects work together to create a magical audio experience. However, the game does lack ambient sound, which would have been the cherry on top of this auditory Sunday. But despite this, Battlefield 1942 still manages to create an immersive experience that resonates with players even after they've left the battlefield. Verdict. Please to obtain, install and run. Obtaining a legitimate copy of Battlefield 1942 has become a challenge, as it's no longer available for purchase, even on EA's own store. The only way to acquire the game now is through oldgamesdownload.com, a site that archives classic games that have been abandoned. Alternatively, you could hunt down the original physical release of the game on Fleabay, but the necessity of a CD drive can pose a problem in this modern age. Now, you've managed to obtain a version of the game. You boot it up and... It's broken. 
Half the menu options don't work. You can't change the resolution from 800 by 600. Crosshairs are missing. Online is completely broken, thanks to games Spy shutting down in 2014. All in all, it's an unplayable mess. But gamers do not like you taking away their favourite toys. And as such, a team of passionate players worked hard to fix the game, repair multiplayer, add increased resolution, and even new maps to be installed when you join a server. These techno wizards revived this 22 year old game and is still enjoyed by thousands of dedicated players. If you're running an AMD card though, you will need an additional fix for menus and crosshairs. All of the patches I've linked down in the description below. Despite these hurdles, the enduring appeal of Battlefield 1942 is a testament to its quality and the dedication of its fan base. Verdict. Final thoughts. Cracking open Battlefield 1942 after two decades felt like unsealing an Egyptian sarcophagus. I was all set to dive into a historical treasure, ready to time travel and rediscover the glory of the past. But I pushed off the lid and was greeted by decades of dust, neglect and bugs. God, I hate it when these things do that. Is he supposed to look like that? I embarked on this retrospective journey with the enthusiasm of a kid in a candy store, eager to relive the good old days of gaming. Those were the times I'd rush home, fire up this game and engage in the noble art of trash talking with strangers. But oh, how the mighty have fallen. The game I once adored now seemed like a relic from the bygone era. It was like meeting a childhood superhero and realising they've let themselves go. The rose tinted glasses were not just removed, but flung across the room. Yet. Yeah. Amidst the disappointment, there was a silver lining. It was a stark reminder of how far we've come in the gaming world, the leaps and bounds we've made, and it also shed a light on the things we've left behind in our quest for progress. There is a certain breed of gamer that this will still appeal to. I might even continue playing this for a while. But for the majority, it's not something I can recommend you bothering with. Final verdict. Subscribe for more. You're thrust into the boots of an anonymous. You're thrust into the boots of an anonymous anonymous. And the edges in this game are so sharp that you could practically.